Hello guys, welcome again on our interview. Today we have a guest and we shall be talking about mobile journalism. Uh, kindly, can you tell us more about yourself? So, my name is Wangwe Juguna. I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. And talking about mobile journalism, yeah. for me, it has helped me in so many ways mm -hmm. in my field practice as a journalist. So, mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be sharing some insights about it mm -hmm. because I know it can help a person who is willing to be a practicing journalist even if he or she is not employed. Okay, and what is mobile journalism? For those who don't know. To start with, mobile journalism is the practice of reporting using smartphones, mm -hmm. tablets, mm -hmm. or any other portable electronic device. That is to gather, edit, and even disseminate the news content mm -hmm. to people. So it is basically the use of what you have, yeah, and what is affordable. Uh, and we have seen we are using the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. What are some of the platforms used to, used in practicing mobile journalism? So there are some apps, mm -hmm. but basically what, is, what most people use or ca currently what they are using, mm -hmm. it is social media yeah. platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. WhatsApp, YouTube, and podcasts. What, yeah. what, what, you are, what you are familiar with is what people are using. Yeah. yeah. And how has mobile journalism mm -hmm. impacted the field of reporting and news dissemination? It has both impacted the field mm -hmm. in positive ways and in negative ways mm -hmm. because uh, as we all know everything that has a pro it has a con yeah. so in the positive side mm -hmm. i can say that it has allowed for people to report immediately or events as they unfold mm -hmm. because for instance we have seen in kenya for example things are really happening mm -hmm. for example accidents um you find that those accidents, they are not, the first hand information about the occurrences of the accidents are not from the media stations. You're finding them online because it is the citizen reporters mm -hmm. who are reporting because they took the news with the phone. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time the media is uh, is uh, validating the information, yeah. it will always, it will have been disseminated. Mm -hmm. Now it is the clarification that people are waiting. And another thing that has uh, happened mm -hmm. is that uh, it has increased audience engagement mm -hmm. through the multimedia story storytelling. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, on the cons, I can say that f misinformation and yeah. fake stories. Yeah. And you find that even some sensitive photos that in uh, journalism there are mm -hmm. some ethics that we do follow but you find that when now these citizen reporters most of them has not even gone through the class work or rather the professional training yeah, so yeah. you find that even sensitive pictures such of deformed people in accident scenes yeah. are being posted which is a violation okay yeah and are there any skills required for journalists to examine mobile journalism uh, you need some combination uh -huh. of reporting mm -hmm. and proficiency mm -hmm. where that you you have to have storytelling abilities yeah. and uh, you have to have even the knowledge in technologies mm -hmm. and you have also to understand how the social media works because you cannot just go there. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, what I've just said, stories about ethics. Yeah defamation mm -hmm. stories about violating other people's rights you have to know them because in the in the process mm -hmm. you can find yourself having a lawsuit because you you, you you wrote a defamation statement of which you never knew because you don't have the skills so the skills are a requirement yeah yeah and how do you see the future of mobile journalism mm -hmm. evolving in the coming years i can say the future is bright because as, as, as time is going, many things are evolving. Mm -hmm. uh, like for our case, we have seen the, evol the evol evolving era of AIs. Yeah, yeah. Something that was not there. Mm -hmm. But now you can just give it the idea mm -hmm. and it, 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 it breaks down the content or what you can cover. Mm -hmm. So I can say that even if you're not a, 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 a trained reporter or journalist, at least it can give you the insight or, or what's the, the the what are they called the guidelines of what you can share mm -hmm. what you can do what you're not supposed to do and even guide you on the story the the, the, the flow of the story yeah. so i can say that 
some evolving technologies will really help. Yeah. Yeah. And what are some of the challenges mm-hmm. faced by journalists when practicing mobile journalism, and how can they be overcome? Well, I'll start with the lawsuits because yeah. the, you you are starting journalist. You don't know. Now you've covered a, a story about a prominent person who knows about these things mm-hmm. and you have defamed him or her yeah. in one or other way. Yeah. So kujua whether you are a trained journalist or not. But if you, you, you start with this, you know the repercussions of doing this and that. Mm-hmm. So if you do it defend me in any way, then you have to face each other in court. Yeah. Another is uh, some security issues because you find that maybe when you are reporting, the scene is not safe, mm-hmm. some are stoned, you are, things are confiscated, yeah. so even the issues with that. Mm-hmm. And also maybe the uh, as, as times go, even the technology keeps evolving and you find that without the knowledge, you will find it hard to maneuver mm-hmm. with the new evolving technologies. And how can you overcome some of uh, uh, those challenges? If you have the, I will say, if you have the the, the, the urge to yeah. be a journalist, mm-hmm. just go to school and get trained. You know, there are even short courses, mm-hmm. so you 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 you'll be on the right track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is what I can say. In cases of images, mm-hmm. try to make sure that you 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 don't cover so much sensitive information mm-hmm. or even pictures. Um, Try to warn people that the image that you're posting okay. is uh, is a bit sensitive, so it's it's their wish to open or not. Yeah. Okay. And what's your conclusion mm-hmm. on the practice of mobile journalism in the country and the entire media field? Um, what I can say is that it is really helping. For me, it is really helping because people are starting to understand mm-hmm. the field and the industry of the the media industry because the moment you start sharing news you want to learn more about what it is or about how and, um, let us say for instance how news are you want to know how are these news edited how do they put this and this together to bring these mm-hmm. as the end or the final product so you find that mm-hmm. people are really trying starting to develop interest mm-hmm. so which is a good thing and i can really advocate for people to continue doing what they are doing because first-hand information is very much good because you know when it gets to the media sometimes some details are left yeah but when it is from these people who are there on the scene of accident you'll get all the details or rather a sensitive information because they are not filtering anything but in the media you know there are some things that are filtered because maybe of the sponsors such things so what are you conclude this the one who have started doing that, mm-hmm. continue doing that, but get get uh, get educated mm-hmm. to be on the right track. Okay, thank you so much uh, for your information. You have, uh, you have great information. Mm-hmm. We shall call you next time to give us more about your journalistic practice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, you very much. much. Welcome. I also appreciate for mm-hmm. the opportunity, and I hope to share more about mobile journalism. Thank you so much. <laughs>